ladies and gentlemen, I'm Zed Tech and welcome back to Stellaris. My playthrough of Stellaris at least. We're conquering some space. And I've just I've just got back. Uh, it, I've been away for a while. This it's been like a, about like a week or a month since I last played Stellaris. So try and get my bearings on this mess of uh, mess of empires going on here and to see what I did last time. So I'm really doing this series so that I can watch back on my previous videos and understand what I was doing last episode. And then come back in knowing what I needed to do and what I have been doing. So let's have a look. So we have a, our economy minus five energy credits. I need to fix that this episode. We have a timed project. Where's this? Some debris in Bali, Bali Uruta. Bali Uruta. I hear. Okay. What's this? So we had a military engagement, it looks like here. Um, okay. Is that our wreckage or? We'll send a science ship. We have a construction ship sitting in orbit on our main world. Let's take him and go to a Balanik and build a mining station on top of that uh, energy. Get some more energy there. One of our army, our naval, our naval, naval, whatever, has leveled up. And they're on the way back to Gore, our home world of Gore. So we'll try and expand this way with some frontier outposts This uh, in this game. We have one frontier outpost there and one frontier outpost there. We have a wormhole. Is that our wormhole generator? Yeah, wormhole generator is there in, in the black hole. Now, there's a lot of these worlds which are not inhabitable by our species. We're looking for a ocean world. Maybe one of these worlds is an ocean world. I saw that we have this set, uh, this area here for some strange reason. Now, I can see we've got some flat borders here, so it looks like there is an empire here in this in this area. Uh, maybe around here. Oh, what's this? We have. Uh, we uh, looks like we've got a science ship in this area. Oh, hello. It takes a while to jump in because all the stuff going on. Right. Yep. There's loads of people here. So then I'm going to take my science ship that's in this area. We're going to go and get this right away. We're going to cancel everything else in its order and then survey the system. Now, I think sectors are doing fine. We have three sectors. We have some uh, some projects that need doing. We've got two science ships and a big fleet that's on 1.7k. Now, what is our, our max naval capacity is 53 ships. And we have 36. But we need to sort out our economy at the moment. So let's unpause, go back up to fast speed and see if we can get our bearings and build up some sort of frontier outpost here in this area to connect our borders across. Because at the moment we're like this, we're like this empire up here. What's this? We fill up, we fill up on uh, minerals. Can we find an, uh, some more energy credits that's not been built not really hmm if we if we decommission this frontier outpost we'll lose all this around here but I really want to just capture out here so what was a bit weird getting used to the controls again construction complete construction been complete what do we do do it all constructed a sort oh right getting some research station okay Still on minus three. Uh, another construction ship's been done. He's finished building there. Now, I don't think I want uh, more mineral stations because we're getting to our max uh, limit on minerals. So, repairs completed. Okay, repair. Okay, that's, that's our ship. That's our 1.7k fleet, which is what we got. One cruiser. Seven destroyers and eighteen corvettes. Decent. Let's unpause that again. And maybe you can go home. We'll go back to Gore, so we're not spending energy credits keeping them up in the air. We got let's pause this quickly. Transmission from the Julian Kingdom. That's these guys. They are a collectivist. A collectivist and a fanatic Xena. Are oh, they would have some instant conflict with these guys, and no they tell. So they hate, fanatically hate aliens. So, oh my god, are they huge? They are pretty big. 
down the, these guys down here and they're sort of bordering with these fallen empires they might be a fallen empire themselves I'm not entirely sure yet but we're gonna go be peaceful with them I'll always salute you now this area here is under threat so what we're gonna do is immediately build a spaceport oh we got a spaceport we have got a spaceport do we get can we put some uh, synchronized defenses on that so become even greater of a threat to navies coming in. So that home world is secured. Because we're on that's a border world with the Druin Kingdom there. I definitely want to collect our borders up though. Uh I'm gonna take have a look at all these little planets here. Especially these ones that we haven't seen yet, like some whatever that's called. Five energy credits in that one. They've locked their borders, that's fine by me. Oh, someone's died. Admiral Raymond Allen of the fleet. Wow, it's on 1.7k. It's not on 1.4k. Because we haven't got a leader. Let's recruit, let's recruit someone. Weapons range is always good. But he is... That's, oh, 49. Hmm. This is really good. But he is 52. So... Hmm. We'll go for this. So that's gone up to... Still 1.4k. Couldn't... couldn't uh, wasn't as good as... Our last leader. Now, I want to get that. So... Do we have a construction ship? Yep, you're on the way back to the home planet. So I want to build all research stations in that in that area. Get more research. What are we researching? Something else died. Hold on, let's pause. What we're doing, wormhole generation rate and wormhole range plus 50%. That will help greatly get to some of these areas out here. This is this uh, yellow orange line here. This is our wormhole range. We're getting regenerative hull tissue, which we're going to put on our ships to make them heal while in the field. Plasma thrusters, we're going to put on our ships to make them better. Who died? Who died? Someone on our science ship died. Was it? A, was he a good, good leader? I feel he was a life Ericsson. I remember that. I remember that ship. Research speed. Research speed. This one. This is what I want. Because he's going to be out in the field. Holly Franklin. In in the Bayou Bayou, Bal I can't say words. Words are weird. Who who knows how to England? We still have a time project going on. Are you researching the time project? No, you're not. Research time project, and then survey the system. Thank you very much. And then hopefully that'll be done. You're building. You're seventy-two percent done. Building the mining station for the energy credits. That'll give us a minus one. We'll fill up on. Oh god, they've declared us our rival. Now we're going to get into a war with these guys soon. We need to let's rival them back because we're, there's no way we're going to get our, our we're going to get help uh, be friendly with them. So we're going to declare them our rival. It gives us plus 88 inf uh, 0 0.88 influence. This is up here. Are uh, they our rival? Uh, they are our rival, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Yes, they are. Okay. Now, they're going to go to war with us. So, what we want to do... Yeah, you're building the synchronized defenses. That's good. Then, while well, space at level 3, level 2, level 4... All the way up to level 4. That does loads of spaces to put more defenses on this. Uh, I want... I probably want to put a defense module in this location. We're going to put a frontier outpost somewhere around here so we can get all these located. I think we're going to go here. So, do we... Do they, they're not allowed to come through our area, are they? Um, we can't... Can we not close our borders? Okay, right. So, they're our rivals. So, they're always closed. Our borders are always closed because they're our rival. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab Frontier Outpost there, and then they'd have to, if they have hyperspace lanes or warp drives, they'll have to come around here to attack, or here. But I'll just have, they won't have a sneak attack through there, because I'll have sensor ranges and all that. So let's build a Frontier Outpost in this region. That's an arid world. Where do we want to go? Do we want to go here or here? Ooh. Um... Let's go here. Hunter outpost. 
Now come down to minus what? Uh, minus plus two. That comes down to. We're uh, we're still on minus one energy credits. Is there anything we? Oh god. Non-aggression pact from who's this? The Fo Fotesian nation. Who are, who are you? Who are you? Are you? You're here. Okay. So I think what's happened here? We're rivaled with these people. They're probably rivaled with these people as well. So if we get a non-aggression pact with the with the Fertesian nation, we can maybe we go to war. We can maybe make an alliance and go to war with these guys if they declare on any of us. So let's get a non-aggression pact with you guys. That's great. Now I want to see if I can build a surface structure that gives us more energy credits because we're currently lacking. You're what are you doing? You're building. Engineering facility two. Okay. What well, is there any other wells we can get some energy credits from? Oh, we can clear blockers. It's always good. Let's clear that. Clear the volcano as well. Let's do them all. And there's no more pops growing on this planet because we need to clear the blockers. So we're gonna clear the blockers, and then we'll put we'll put an energy we'll build a what's it called a reactor, we we'll power plant on there and on there, and put a pop on it immediately. So that will hopefully start growing bigger. As a left prime, loads of blockers to clear here. We're actually starving on this on this world, which is not good. I want to let's build a basic hydroponics farm there. Put you on there so you grow up and you get plus two to the um, it's bleak apparently. Oh bleak habitat minus five percent, food plants ten percent. Oh damn, it's really bad there. But we're gonna do that and then. For later, we're gonna clear all these blockers so that we don't have to we don't forget and uh, find out later that there's no population growing there. There's a science ship Balao. Can we go do a no? Can we? Can we not, can we not research this? Oh, it's a failure with now. Let's leave me, leave me, leave me. <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's go to Saf, whatever this tool is called, and then oh, no, that's got someone in it. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Saluna. Saluria. After you're done with that, so you're going to jump to there. Okay, that. Jump to there, jump to there, jump to there. Do that. Okay. It's fine by me. Let's unpause and we're back up to speed. Now, we're waiting for that energy credit, so we might have to build up our fleet though. So let's start building up our fleet. What can we build? What can we build? Destroyers. So we have. What's our first fleet? Our first fleet has one cruiser and seven destroyers, was it? Yep, seven destroyers. So well, let's go for two new corvettes. That'd be 20. And then one new destroyer. I think that'll be fine. So let's do that. Build two new corvettes, one new destroyer. Should be fine. That'll make our energy credits go down a slight bit, but that should be good. Should be good for now. I want to protect this area as much as we can. Debris has been analysed. That means we've got loads of uh, got nuclear missiles, progress, countermeasures, physics research, engineering research, afterburners, red lasers, deflectors. Lovely. So we're producing 68. Oh, wait, hold on. We're on minus 0 0.30. We are, we are coming back up. Let's do it. Let's go. Good. Going good. This guy is on spaceport level 2 upgrade. We have synchronized defenses on that uh, space station now. And I'm just wondering if I want to. Is there. Where's the, is there a construction ship here? No. There's someone here. Oh, no one. We don't control this. Our, our borders are literally on just on the cusp of controlling this. Hmm. Do we want to control this, though? Desert world, narrow world. Not the best. Are they going to build a frontier outpost? I'm telling you, they don't, they don't, no, not the build the frontier outpost. You, you don't feel like that, okay? Ah, okay. <laughs> complete. Still, oh, and minus three. That's because the um, we're building the destroyers. Destroyers are up, so our fleet's up to a 1.6k. Federation. Who, who by? Was it these guys? Oh, hello. Who the stuff here? <laughs> So the, all right, this is Earth. This is the United Nations of Earth. Uh, the Sky Sky Skyolden League 
does not only cooperate with its members, we would like to extend an offer of association status to the Ots by Star Syndicate. So, what was this? This is the Federation. Is it these guys? The Skyldon League. Who is the Federation of the Skyldon League? Is that... That's these... That must be... Must be these guys have made a federation, invited Earth. Earth has accepted. We can accept and we can have a federation with these two guys. Which, looking at looking at the time we're having at the moment with the Juin Kingdom, probably going to agree with that. So we're now in a federation with these guys. And these guys, I, I suspect we are. This is these guys, yep. Looks like, yep, we're in a federation. Okay, that's good. So we've got these guys to back us up. We have none of... Oh my god, those borders just expanded so much. You saw that, didn't you? So these guys are getting buffs to their border. It's uh, They're like 20% more border border range. We have a non-aggression pact with these guys, but we also have a federation with these guys. So the Druin Kingdom System survey complete. probably won't attack me. Hopefully... Are you building... Almost building there. Let's turn up the speed to the fastest speed. Construction ship. Who, who are you doing? You're building a research station. Construction complete. Okay, System you're done. Complete. Let's pause that quickly and jump to another research here. Build research stations. The Life Everton has done scientin, scientisting, whatever, whatever you call that. Don't we survey this system? It's out here. No one knows what's there yet. Hopefully there is a habitable world. I should just uh, check the video quickly. I found back. We're getting to the end of the video here. Uh, oh, we've got the plasma thrusters. We're going to upgrade all our ships with some uh, plasma thrusters there. So then we get... Maybe we'll, maybe we'll push past the 1.8k range on our ships. So it's looking... Oh, okay, cannon's good. Not really. That's more of a countermeasure. Uh, robot. Not going to go that way. Not just yet. We need some better tech to go that way. Ceramic metal armor might go there. It's looking, looking very good. Mineral storage is amazing right now. Because we need a lot of mineral storage for what? Because our max is 14k at the moment. And we buffed it up to 15k. We have 15k in storage. Uh, we've got afterburners. Which is kind of good. We have got progress towards that. And we have nuclear missile defense. Nuclear missiles. Not for the moment. The ceramic metal armor. Just because it helps our ships out. Let's go to the ship designer page. Go to our Corvettes. Uh, yep, this is this is fine, I think. Oh, we've got a defence platform. Oh, we can upgrade, we can change our defence platform to better suit our uh, needs. Because we're going to build a defence platform soon. But for now, we're going to jump to Plasma Thrusters. Is there anything else I need? Nope. Nope, there's nothing there. And auto-complete. They have a crystal infused plate in. Uh, that gives ship hull points plus five percent. That's fine. And we're gonna save that as a Corvette. And then we go to destroyer. Give our destroyers plasma thrusters. That gives us plus twenty percent more speed and evasion. Or we complete the rest of the ship just to see if there's any more armor or fusion reactors I can put on. Save that. Go down to our defense platform here. Now we can pick light station, medium station, heavy station, or a Hannah station. I'll probably do that for a heavy station just because we haven't done any Hannahs. Or should we go for heavy? Or should we go for. Because this has a weapon slot of one for a heavy station. So maybe do that for a light station. Just because it comes with a lot more stuff. So we're going to go for small, small two coil guns. We don't need personal defense. No, we have no personal defence. So, maybe it is worth just going for... Mm, medium station is probably better, to be honest. Just because we can put two coil guns on and have no personal defence because we haven't got any personal defence anyway. Looking good. Go for scanners. What's this? Subspace snare. Uh, gives jump, jump charge time plus 400%. Oh my god, that it slows them down a lot. Proximity mines. Uh, so ships, ah, so it puts like basically a minefield down. And the ship dam uh, dampener, so it turns, it slows down their shields. And month, this is a, a, a allied ships in the area get plus five percent hull regeneration, 
which is great. I think we did it for the subspace snare. That will slow everyone in the region down. We go for crystal infused plating for them too. Or oh, complete the rest. There's some nano composite armor, large one nano composite armor, and another large and all rest and two fusion reactors. And we're gonna name that Defense Platform Mark One. Mark One will signify that it is a the first in our designs. I'm gonna save that. I'll look down to delete the old automatic defense platform and there's our new one so science ship I'll upgrade that to bigger thrusters bigger gravity bigger sensors or complete the rest give it more armor plating bigger fusion reactors save that there's the trade winds that's a science ship colony ship or complete that give us all the best stuff save that as Jamaica Jama Jam Jamaica. Let's call Jamaica. Okay. Anyone from Jamaica watching? This is for you. Construction ship. Or a complete. All the best stuff. And a transport ship. We're gonna auto complete that. All the best stuff. And um, let's just upgrade all our military now. Where's our military? Well, our military is here. First fleet. 1.6k. Upgrade. Let's see how, how much it goes up to. 1.6k. <laughs> Hasn't done up at all. So when the science ships come back here to go off or draw prime, we will upgrade all their stuff, all their stats to the biggest possible, uh, well, basically the, the newest upgrades. They get a new platform here. Then they take these two energy credits there. And then oh, four there. That's fine. Fine by me. Hopefully we can. Oh my god, look. What's this? It's just outside the wormhole range, but there's an ocean world here with 21 spaces. Where's that? That's here. 21 spaces, ocean world. That's great. We have a 90% habilitation. No, not 90%. We have a something of percentage on there. We haven't explored it yet, so we can't tell what percentage we have of habitability. But we're gonna, definitely going to go for that planet, and then that will put us on borders with my the Fratessian Fertes, nation and the Druin kingdom but we'll have a builder like here then and we'll have we'll be collected up because we have the front of their outpost it's about to build any second now there we go borders and is this another world the Tilinese civilization so the presence of a pre-space alien civilization on Pendalor that's here so that's on. Is that on? No, that's a science ship. Where was this? Is this here? Where is it? It's. It's a migration treaty. Who's this? This is the Interstellar Kareem. Interstellar Kareem. Who's that? I don't think I've met them. No, I haven't met those guys. These guys. Do we see them anywhere? We do, kind of. This, this. Oh, it's these guys up here. So I can f now freely move through this. That's fine. We're on minus six energy credits, so pretty bad there. But we have collected our borders up here, so we are looking like a bit of a axe head sort of thing right now. Or the state of Florida. But we need to get this. We are researching wormhole range. That's 15 months left. So I'm not going to build a wormhole generator. I'm going to wait until the range is done. I'll get 50% more, so we'll go about up to here. Everywhere. So we can go explore more next episode and settle on this planet next episode. So thanks everyone for watching this episode 11 of my Solaris playthrough. I hope to see you in the next episode. But I've been ZTech. Thanks everyone for watching. And I'll see you next time.